Hey guys, welcome back to Hatchet's Hooch. I'm Hatchet. We got Johnson with us today. What up, y'all? It's been a while since you've been on Hatchet's Hooch, Johnson. Where you I been? I know, I know. Well, been trying to get famous, you know, trying to find my road in Hollywood. That's right, that's we right. We uh, shot that commercial with uh, South Mountain Distillery. That was awesome for the new uh, Dignified that will still soon to be out. Still hasn't July even released. July 7th, it. I believe. Yeah. yeah. And they got the cigars now. Right. Oh man. Yeah, pairing the the dignified whiskey. Single malt, so you gotta yeah. have gotta have a big cigar with a single malt. So. And that's something big, you know. Our local distillers, we really try to get behind. Yeah. And uh, these guys have put out a hundred percent barley with some peat moss, like smoke behind it. Really good. And, and fellas, at three months, it was incredible. It was wasn't incredible. It? Well, he's waited for a year and a half, eighteen months. Yeah, yep. to release it, and I, I, he, he offered me some the other day, and I said no. I said just let it keep aging. I want to wait for the final <laughs> product. It's gonna be good. So, but yeah, I seen that commercial. You can look it up on YouTube. Uh, I guess it'd be on the South Mountain. Yeah, Mountain South Park. Mountain Distillery's Distillery. website, and then look up Dignified Whiskey. You'll see uh, Johnson from Hatches Hooch and Psycho. He's right. in there too. So uh, we don't get to have him here as much as we like, but. He gets out sometimes. Yeah. Anyway, so today we're going to do some more local distillery stuff. Johnson here is my moonshine man. That's right, what we got here? This here is Howlin' Moon from up in Asheville. Asheville's about an hour 15 from us, up in the mountains. And uh, it's, a, it's a great town, a bunch of uh, hippies and liberals up there, and <laughs> like naked people dancing in the streets. Oh, it's great. I think the last time I was up there, I seen a sign that a woman was holding right there at the big monument statues in the center of town that said, uh, I think it was something to do with foreskins, and it said, <laughs> it said, save the foreskin on it. Nice. So that, I guess, it, the, you know, a baby has options, man. Give them to them. <laughs> yeah, they protest a lot up there. You've got some <laughs> colleges. you got Western Carolina up there. A uh, bunch of young people Ooh. in the city. Don't smell too bad. So, uh... Get, get out to Asheville and, and check that city out, man. And while you're it's, up there. It's alive, for sure. Howlin' Moon, you know, they're up there. And also, there's Troy and Sons up there, too. Yeah. So, all right, Howlin' Moon. Uh, I've been following these guys for a long time, back when they only had one moonshine, and that was it. And uh, Matt picked up some of this at the local ABC store. Not local, it's Bruce Pine. Uh, John Bradford on the side here. Yeah, and, uh, you know, Probably three or four months ago, I was on YouTube messing around, and I seen uh, the local PBS station, uh, Western North Carolina, whatever, was up there, and they filmed it up here and watched these guys uh, make some moonshine. So I thought that was pretty cool when I was watching it. But this is the first time I've ever tried any of it. You ever had any of this? No. Yeah, I think first it's going to be good, man. Um, what I've heard, it's good. So This is something uh, that's pretty good here. It smells like good moonshine. It does smell pretty good. Famous, uh, let's see. Read that there, Johnson. Uh, his descendants and relatives became some of America's most famous outlaws and moonshiners, making the front page of almost every major newspaper. So. That was his ancestors. He yeah. still lives on the land. Oh, John Bradford. And we got batch numbers on here. Batch number 18. Yeah. Well. So. We really enjoy getting this local stuff in and, and helping out and getting them on the YouTube. And what do you think about that color, Johnson? Looks like a wine. It does look like wine. It looks. Uh, what we was discussing earlier. Um, you make a redneck brandy, you can take some moonshine, throw some strawberries in there, let it sit. It seems like though this is a little light, like you know, clear. Yeah, I can almost see blue in it still, a little bit. <laughs> anyway, uh, it does look a little thin, you know, but it is a hundred proof, and that's that's what I make mine at, you know. Hundred proof is very respectable, you know. That's that's the good stuff. Yep. So, and it smells like it's got the, got the heat. It's got, I can smell some heat, but I I really can pick out that corn, you know, corn moonshine. Oh, Lord, yes. It's what it smells like. Now this is not a uh, a strawberry brandy that's been you know mashed from uh, strawberries. This has actually had either flavoring or, or strawberries put in it, but there's actually no strawberries in the jar. Right. It, it looks it, but it smells like it has been, like it would have would have been made with strawberries. Right. You know, it smells like it was a corn moonshine, and they put strawberries in it, but just none made it into the bottle. Yeah. I mean, it smells really good. I've made this exact same stuff, and it smells just like what I've made before. 
So, all right. Thumbs up. Holy shit. Wow. That's hot, and there's hardly any alcohol heat from it. Wow, that's so <laughs> wild. It is, you can tell it's warm, but it is extremely smooth to drink. Man, and it's not overly sweet like we'd had one before. It no, was really sweet. I had one little punch of sweet that just went right away because of the warm. Wow, the warm is man. good. Wow, and that's no ice. That's, that's ice it, dude. Yeah. I'd say it'd be a lot sweeter. That's so good. That's what I'm thinking. So good. Good job, guys. I got you. Got to have a heat. If it's got a little shine, I want to feel a little bit more. See, I don't. I would rather it be smooth like water, and you can just drink it in a hundred proof, and then mm. you lay it out in the, the ground. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. It's, I can still. I can feel some heat now, kind of coming up. Yeah, like but the it throat. was. It went very easily down. Um, I think I. Oh, smell it now. Strawberry is. Punch. Strawberry is overpowered in the corn as were before the corn kind of was even wow. with the strawberry smell. Yeah, that strawberry know, man. out. You sure it's flavored? It has to be. If it was a, a strawberry mash, it would be clear. Yeah. So it has to be uh, put strawberries in it or something. So that maybe we can get up there and check them out and they maybe. can show us how they're making this. Because, maybe they can uh, solve this for us. <laughs> yeah, quite the conundrum. <laughs> All righty. All day long. Wow, man. that's totally different now. I could drink this all day long. Either way. This hot. right here is amazing. Hot or cold, that was very easy to drink. Ah, Matthew, good job, man, picking this out. That was great. Man, um, it's got a, it has a totally distinct different taste. Yeah. Once you ice it. Oh, of course, and yeah. And it's it's such a good flavor, too. I'm a t I, I want to say this is the best flavored moonshine I've ever had to come I mean, from the store. Yeah. I mean, it's it's insanely good. Way to start it off, man. That's wow. great. Howlin' Moon. What other flavors is out there? I, I think, uh, you know, in the liquor store, I've seen their white. Mm. I've seen the strawberry, and I want to say there's something else. Yeah, apples, probably. But, yeah, if it, if the rest of us is as good as this, I'm, I'm going to pick some more up. Yeah. Like that white, I always avoid the moonshines and stuff, but, man, this is great. Yeah, that was really so good, good, actually. I was surprised because it, it smelled so much harder. Yeah. I thought it was going to burn <laughs> and, leave, and leave a burn in your nose and everything, all the way down. <laughs> but it is not. That was yes. surprising. That's great, man. Yep. Um, I'm sure you can pick that up at any ABC store. In know, North Carolina. In North yeah. Carolina, yeah. so. Yeah, I've, I've been a lot of ABC stores, and I usually see this at all of them. Um, a, lot of, a lot of local stores, they have like a... a shelf dedicated to local distilleries or at least north carolina distilleries and this one's like uh it's well, always there real made with real fruit yeah oh man that's great y'all done great on that one uh johnson would you mix this with anything no i couldn't imagine any, any reason to either. there's no reason it's sweet Probably enough not. and it's uh smooth that's enough that's right it has the, it has the flavor of a mixed drink with, and it still has the potency of, of a good yes. shot of, of That's whiskey. right. really um, does. If you're a lady that likes to drink wine coolers and whatnot, pick this other thing up and just try it, man. Yep. And if it's a little hot for you, put some ice in it and it goes away. It went away for sure. <laughs> That's great. Totally different flavor come out of it. Uh, good it's job, good. guys. We're definitely going to come up here and see you. This is wonderful. Um, Hardly ever do we get to, you know, have one that we have nothing bad to, at all to say about. It. Yeah, I mean that was it. From, the only from bad the thing, beginning to the end, is it took this long to find it. <laughs> I mean, really, yeah. we've been missing out. Good job, guys. Um, anything to add here? What was the price on this? I'm trying to remember. I think it was. I think it was somewhere around twenty ish. I don't know exactly. I'd have twenty to, to thirty. Somewhere between twenty and thirty. Yeah. Well, that's might have been twenty four. Matter of fact, it probably was twenty four. So for twenty five dollars, you know, and it's, it's good, and it's plenty. I mean, it's stout enough to where even though the jar is not quite as big as you might want to put in your hand, it's uh, it's going to definitely be enough. I wouldn't be afraid to go to a party and, and buy a jar of this to pass around. Yep. I mean, really, it's that good. It's great. I mean, there's a lot of them sitting on the shelf that you you wouldn't want to take to a party. No, People's like, what are you? Ugh. Especially if it if it's you know if it's not been mashed into that flavor, you know when you cook it down, it already has it in there. That's where that's where the you know all the ferment happens. 
you know, that's inc that's impressive. I mean, I don't really know how you can go with with you know a distilled spirit and add that much flavor into it's it. It's great, yeah. And it still be that tasty. That's wonderful. All right, I'm definitely gonna get some of their white and maybe the apple or any other flavor they got. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try that all. So that's great. All right, for twenty five dollars, man, pick Thumbs it up. up. <laughs> go get some. And uh, if you're out of state, like uh, uh, Pearson, we might send you some of this. Yeah, that was pretty impressive. Yeah, because this is some North Carolina moonshine. This is what it's about. So, good job, guys. Uh, if y'all know anything about it, tried to have a moon, leave us a comment. Yep. Let us know uh, what flavors you've tried and how you liked it. And maybe what the limit is on it before uh, it no longer is uh, your favorite drink. <laughs> <laughs> you know, those, yeah. are things, those are good things. We tell you if it's worth drinking, you tell us what the limit of don't drink this much of it is. <laughs> That's right. That's right. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for joining us on this episode of Hatchet Hooch. Like and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you next time.